Hello guys, welcome to your daily dose of mathematics. In today's video, we are going to cover another tactic that you will find really useful in P3 integration A-levels. So let's have a quick look at the question. And once you've seen the question, I would, as usual, ask you guys to pause the video, try the question first yourself, and then have come back and have a look at the solution. So let's see what the problem is. The problem is, again, integrating a trigonometric function. So what we are going to integrate is tan cube of x. So this is tan cube of x and we have to integrate this function. And first of all, I would want you guys to pause this, try to do this intuitively. And if you're unable to do this intuitively, then you can come back and have a look at the solution. So let's have a look at the solution now. For this uh, trigonometric approach, we have already made another video regarding cos cube. Uh, tan cube and sine cube work similarly as cos cube. So, uh, tan cube works a bit differently than uh, sine cube and cos cube. The first step is always saying you have to break down this, uh, this power into two portions. So this will become tan x and tan squared x. And we will place the dx over here. Now, we know there is a trigonometric identity that says 1 plus tan squared is secant squared x. We can take substitution from there and place it over here. And we can replace this thing from 1 plus tan squared is secant squared. And if I make tan squared a subject over here, it would be secant squared x minus 1. If you have not memorized this uh, identity uh, and you're in uh, A-levels paper three, I would highly recommend to memorize this identity. This will come really handy in many tricky situations. So let's start. It will become tan x times one uh, secant squared x minus one. Secant squared x minus one. So this will be the function. I'm going to open this function and split it into two different integrals. And let's see what we should do uh, is this is tan x my, uh, secant squared x minus tan x dx. All right, so this has become uh, this function now. These are two different terms which are being added or subtracted, we can open a separate integral for both of these. So let's do that. I'll try to integrate tan x secant squared x dx separately, and I'll try to integrate tan x separately. This is where it gets tricky. Now, there are two stages where this whole thing gets tricky. The first one is how to open the power for tan, substitute root tan square for secant square minus one. And the second stage is now this, solving these two integrals individually. Both of them are tricky in their own way. Uh, let's first focus on this portion where we have to integrate tan x and secant square x. Now over here, if you try tan x as an operator, tan is not a direct operator in integration, so you would not be uh, able to integrate this. If you try secant square as an operator, box is x, the differentiation of box is one. We will not be able to create one over here since we will have to remove tan x and we're not allowed to remove or introduce no, uh, variable terms from here. So none of the operators which you can see right now would work. But there is one op other operator which is hidden right now and I will show you its position in just a second. And that is the operator that I'm going to use for this first part. The operator that I'm talking about and if you're listening, uh, if you're Seeing this operator for the first time, I would highly recommend that you guys remember this tactic. It will be very useful for you in the exam if it pops up in your exam paper. The operator that I'm talking about is power of tan. Power of tan is unable to be seen right now, but this is the power that is the operator right now for this integral. Whenever tan and secant square are in a product and you have to integrate them, power of tan is always the operator. Remember this line. So if power of tan is the operator, box is tan x, and we know differentiation of box should be present outside, 
before we start integrating. And we know tan x is differentiated to secant square x. Our condition gets completed. The operator is accepted. Three things will disappear. Differentiation of box and both integral signs will disappear. And you're allowed to integrate this power. And what will be the integration of tan x to the power 1? It would become tan x to the power 2 divided by 2. So you add 1 to the power and divided by 2. So this is the integral of this first section. For the second section, uh, it is something that we learn when we're doing uh, operators inter integration. And this is a tactic that most of us must have learned beforehand. If you haven't, you should really go through the notes and try to memorize this because this is really basic. So tan x should always be integrated by writing sine x upon cos x. And I'm going to place dx over here. Now, I have cos 6 in the numerator. And if I have differentiation of this in the numerator, I can convert into a logarithm. So if box is cos x, we know the differentiation of cos is negative sine x. So I have to introduce negative over here. And to pay off for that, I will have to introduce negative 1 outside as well. Now we can see the differentiation of cos x is present in the numerator. So whenever we have a fraction where we have a denominator whose differentiation is present in the numerator, all of the things in the numerator will disappear and log natural log of the denominator is the final answer. So these two negatives will become a positive and this will become log of cos of x. And I'm using modulus sign with cos because I have not defined a domain for x and cos is some most of the half of the times negative in a cycle and half of the time it is positive. The modulus sign is here to make sure that this thing stays positive for the logarithmic function to be defined. So in this video, we have covered a very important tactic where we have manipulated tan cube x. First, we split the power, we use some substitution, then the individual integrals were tricky as well. Make sure you know this variation before you go for your A-level exam. If you have liked this video, please share it with your friends who might not know this technique. Secondly, if you have any questions, any queries, any comments, tell us in the comment section below and we'll try to respond as quickly as possible. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.